cobra. Big blood, don't need no donor. Niggas get lit up like a toner. Shitty ass nigga, man, what's that odor? As the days go by, my heart get colder. Nigga, don't piss shit like that. Fuck them, fuck these niggas, they get cold shoulder. A ball chain like a goddamn voter. Try to love it, shit needs to close it. So I've been to Costa Rica, Mexico, Panama, Portugal, Morocco, Germany, many others that I'm forgetting. But this is my first time in New York. <laughs> we in New York, shawty, and I'm very excited, very excited. And yes, the title is correct. I flew to New York for a tattoo. Years and years of me wanting to come here, no matter how many things I wrote on my list of things to do before the world ends, the one thing that got my ass here the quickest is this tattoo. My tattoo artist, I found her off of Pinterest, uh, sorry, Cap, I found her off of TikTok. I want to say over a year ago and if not over then just at or right under a year ago and I seen her and she does intuitive tattoo sessions and basically what that means is that her and I are going to sit in meditation she's going to give me a reading she's going to talk to my spirit guides I'm going to talk to my spirit guides and she's going to create a tattoo that is intuitively designed based off of the messages that come through when I seen that that was a thing, you already know my, my ass, my ethereal ass. They know the face and they know the name. Ethereal Trinity ain't coming to play no games. <sighs> that was fucking ugly. I was like, bet it up, she's the one. <laughs> with that being said, I'm here with my friend Justice. The last time y'all seen Justice was the camping trip video. And Justice called me this, this, this New Year's Eve. He was like, yo, I'm just letting you know right now, Trinity. I know you be traveling and I'm down to go wherever in the fuck. <laughs> yes, the answer is yes, count me in. <laughs> so it's me, Justice, um, and we are traveling through New York and I'm excited because I've never been here. I've never fucking been here before. I'm making a mental list of the crazy shit I see because I will be talking shit. <laughs> I will. I, I was riding on the train, the subway the other day and I'm like, this is my Twitter feed come to life. Like, wow. First day here and right now we're about to go get some brunch. We're about to head to Chinatown, and then we want to go thrifting and shopping and all that good stuff. I'm taking you guys along, so yes, let's do it. I don't know why I was trying to talk right here because that music was loud and filled with copyright strikes. Anyway, we walked into a dispensary and it was so fire, bro. They was in there selling shrooms, just raw shrooms and shroom chocolate, like, I, I, and shroom tea, actually. Like, I didn't know New York had it like that. Like, y'all ain't tell me New York had it like that. We just decided to buy a pre-roll and uh, I was smoking on that, but New York, y'all got the shit, okay? All right, so we are literally about to go get our oars photographed. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling hot, I'm feeling wavy. I'm excited because I forgot that this was a thing that was in New York. And I haven't done this since I was in Hawaii for my 21st birthday. They just had that shit on the, on the street too. Like you could just walk in that bitch and buy the gas. Anyway, I just walked into the, I just walked on, off the street into the little smooth all dark neon sign that motherfucker said hey yo come here spirit spirit guided me over there on god spirit was like hey yo trend come check this out on god because i walk in that bitch you could buy raw shrooms and all the shroom chocolate and we just talking about this shit so openly and so freely nigga that's my kind of vibe that's my kind of motherfucking party nigga party for sure oh my god this is what i was looking for this is what I was looking for. You said what? Yeah. It's crazy. I've been wanting one of these bangles. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm in Wonderland. Oh, this is mine. Oh my God. I need this. 
When you see this, you don't just get tingly. <laughs> like this don't this don't stimulate the senses. She looking real hurty. Need my nails done. Am I a bangle shoddy? <laughs> I'm laughing because we high in New York. <laughs> Is that where your brain is at? This Justice ain't saying shit. Justice already don't say shit, but he's definitely not saying shit right now. Like, I'm like, damn, it's just me and this conversation. Oh, that's what I do. <laughs> I stand behind the camera, don't say shit, and just film. <laughs> that's where I'm comfortable. But no, for real, like, you don't want any of this stuff. Mm -mm. This looks so fire. Bro, literally, we were just in one area that looked like just straight up Chinatown, these common folk, everyone trying to get everywhere at once type beat. And then all of a sudden, we slowly go from street to street and it's become this, this v lone fucking golf wing, fucking, how do I explain it? Like hype beast, slight, slight area. I know y'all who live here know what the fuck I'm talking about. Smoke shops, dispensaries everywhere. And then I'm like, Ooh, I'm looking around. It's, it's lines outside of Reformation and like the high class thrift stores and shit. I look around and I'm like, oh shit, this is where the pretty niggas at. Oh shit. I done found where the pretty niggas, they might be ain't shit, but they the pretty niggas. Ooh. <laughs> We went to this really good vegan restaurant. It was called Raw's Plant Based, and it was all vegan Ethiopian food. 10 out of 10, would definitely recommend if you are ever in New York or if you live there. <laughs> First full official day in New York City. Um, I'm so fucking tired, bro. <laughs> I was gonna try to be a hot girl and go out and oons oons, but bitches wasn't answering the phone. Nobody answered the phone. Like no one hit me up with a move that you know seemed like a definite yay even though it's the night after Cinco de Mayo so I know niggas is out there getting lit but I'm gonna sleep off this FOMO not gonna lie this FOMO about to be knocked out the way by some Z's we had some good ass Ethiopian food oh my god <sighs> that food was so good bro so good so good so unique um, I love me some good, unique vegan food. Bet it up. I am gonna do a little bit more breath work and then fall asleep. I think I spent like four hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> we in New York, shawty. Second full day in New York City. And we are starting it off at Thompson's Tompkins Bagels. Oh, wow. I hear they got good vegan bagels. So I'm excited, of course, because your girl likes to eat. Wow. I feel the shroom. So I got a French toast bagel with strawberry cream cheese. And as we were in the long ass Uber on the way over to the bagel spot, uh, that's a rant for later because I hate the fact that there's 8.8 .8 million people in the fucking, in New York City. It's too many of y'all niggas there. It, a place could be a few miles down the road and it's 45 minutes to get there. Why? Because there's so many people. But in this long ass car ride, I ended up taking, eating two chocolate squares from that mushroom bar that we had got at the dispensary yet the day before. And I didn't realize that I was consuming like 0.88 of a gram. I would say your girl went on an accidental trip, but trips don't be accidental, so I need to stop saying that. But the shit was intense. Wow. Oh, it's cute in here.
today is finally the day it's about to happen i just called an uber to go on over to my tattoo artist's house well i'm gonna go to a cafe first and then go to her house but i am so excited i am so excited during this whole trip i have felt whenever i'm traveling honestly i feel more of a i don't want to say a deeper connection to spirit but more of a awareness of the presence of spirit constantly at all times and throughout this trip there's just been so much maybe i'll sit down and talk about it a little later when i have more time but there have been a lot of things that have taken place where i'm just like wow intention intention i was meant to be here at this time with these people and these items and everything else like everything is connected it's such a beautiful thing to be aware of um so yes i'm very excited oh i cannot wait to see what she does with this tat i just tell her i was like are you just oh, i'm gonna just give you this whole arm like oh god at a cafe i got a vegan uh, breakfast burrito that hasn't came yet and a vegan chocolate chip scone mm. Wait. That shit was cold, hard, and nasty. I give it a zero out of 10. That shit was all right. It tastes exactly how it looked. And if you ain't never had tofu scrambled eggs, then I don't know, you might not be crazy about it. It sufficed for me being hungry and wanting to eat something healthy. So for that, I give it a four out of 10. This tattoo service was one of the most memorable, intentional, intricate experiences I've ever had. So as I told you guys before, kind of a little bit about how it would go. Um, basically, when I got there, we talked to each other, getting to know each other for a period of time. We had some beautiful conversations and then eventually she put me in a meditation, which I did not film. Um, she literally vocally walked me through a very visual meditation in which I um, eventually found a bookshelf that had memories of my life and different books would fall and I would open them and then I would have certain memories about certain experiences and she was like channeling everything that was coming up taking note of everything that I was saying and things of that sort and during this time she was just channeling a design and drawing it out on her paper as she was guiding me through this meditation and hearing the things that I was saying that I was experiencing. So it was such it was such an intense experience. I can't imagine getting a tattoo that doesn't work out like that anymore. To give y'all maybe some insight, I did tell her that I wanted some flowers on my arm i did give her like that and i told her i wanted some sacred geometry but other than that she channeled the entire design and just drew it the way that she felt called to draw it and this is the first tattoo that i've ever gotten that i 
immediately liked how it looked and the exact placement. Once she put the stencil on my skin, I had no rebuttals, literally nothing at all. I just felt so highly vibrating. That's kind of, I don't know if I worded that right, but you understand what I'm saying? Like it was such an intense, unique experience. Um, and I had a great time getting tattooed by her. Uh, I know people care about did it hurt, but to me, I don't really acknowledge those types of things. Like it's a tattoo. <laughs> But yeah, it was a very beautiful process and I know I'm definitely going to go back to her as soon as I can to get yatted up again. Okay. <laughs> Is it a video? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> happy, happy, joy, joy. <laughs> like, Great. So pretty. So pretty. It's me. Oh. <laughs> That was honestly an amazing experience. Like, oh my God. The most, the best tattoo experience I've ever had, to be honest. Like, I feel like I can't get no more tattoos without it being that intentional. For sure, for sure. Um, I loved her, I love her energy. And literally when I seen her um, on TikTok, I just knew, I knew I had to get tatted by her. And of course, that's why because she's great and this is now my favorite piece ever um and i was literally i'm still so shocked that it finally happened like the manifestation finally took place because like i said i've been plotting on her for over a year plotting for over a year so my eye is watery as fuck so that is the end of this vlog. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, here is just a montage of images and other pictures and clips of things you probably didn't really get to see that well. We did so much stuff. Like I documented like 60% of everything we did. Also, don't nobody dare get in my comments complaining about how they didn't know that I was in New York because I screamed about it on my Instagram for over a month. I was yelling about it, telling y'all, hit me up with the moves and niggas was not answering no one said anything until i actually made a feed post showing me in new york and then all of a sudden hundreds of y'all dm and me commenting when's the meet and greet uh let's let's go get brunch i i would have loved to do all of that shit except for the meet and greet i was there to have fun not work i wanted to party with y'all I wanted y'all to tell me where to eat where to shop all that shit but niggas didn't hit me up until the very last minute this is just a rant. I just had to let this out because I already know people are going to be gaslighting me. Like, why you ain't tell us you was in New York? I said it. I said it. I said it many a time. And the people that I did connect with literally never gave me a move. They didn't know. It. They either didn't know or they just didn't respond. And I'm like, wow, this fucking sucks. But other than that, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe, Sim, as always. And you guys will see me in the next video. Peace. Just happened, just happened uh, I've done it millions of times But not the millions of times I guess that's where when we die But I'm back as an indigo Back in the density Back to the days of three Back to the days of me Back to the days where we see